All right, so we made a component in the last lesson called user only, which we use to protect certain pages from unauthenticated users. I like all these pages right here in the dashboard group. And we did that by wrapping the layout within that group with the user only component. And we also did the opposite. We made a guest only component, which wrapped the auth pages. So the only users not logged in can view those pages. Now inside those two components that we made, we also output a little bit of loading text as the content to show while we kind of figured out if the user was logged in or not. And while we ran any redirect logic and that loading text ends up showing on a blank unstyled white screen for just a second and it looks horrible. In fact, I'm gonna show you this now. I'm currently on the profile page logged in. Now, when I log out, we're gonna see for just a split second that white screen with a bit of text in the top left. It doesn't look nice at all, right? So in this lesson, we're gonna make a better loading screen that we can show that fits in with the color scheme of the user's phone as well, light or dark. So to do this, we'll be making use of a native component called activity indicator, which shows like a little spinner and we'll be embedding that into a custom themed loader component that we make and that we can then use instead of this text right here. So before we make that themed loader component, let's see what this activity indicator looks like out of the box. To do that, I'm gonna to head to the login page and we're just gonna output the activity indicator at the bottom down here somewhere. So then let me come underneath this link at the bottom and I'm just going to start typing this component, which is a native component, comes to us from React Native and it's called Activity Indicator. So if we click on this one, it should import it from React Native up here. Yep. And now if we go down here, we can customize this using a couple of different props. So let's close it off first of all. And the first prop is going to be the size and we could set that to be, for example, large or small. So I'll say large and then the next one is the color and i'm going to set that to be just white so it shows up all right so if i save this now and look down here we can see the activity indicator it's like a little loading ticker right now this is good but if i'm on the light mode so let me come down here and let me change this to light if I save it, I'm gonna to have to reload the app. So let me shake that and reload, and then go to the login page. It's white, so it doesn't really show properly, right? So instead of just using this standard activity indicator and giving it a hard color, what I'd like to do is make that component, like I said before, which is some kind of themed loader. Now it's gonna use this under the hood, but inside there we can tap into the user's color scheme and we can dynamically apply a different color to this activity indicator then. Okay, so now let's go to the components folder and create this new file called themed loader.jsx. All right, so inside here then, I'm going to import a few things and I'm just gonna paste those in. So it is the activity indicator component we just used on the login screen. In fact, let's get rid of these things over here, give us some room. And then also the use color scheme hook as well, which we'll need to grab the user's color scheme. On top of that, we have the colors object being imported so we can use those colors as well. All right, so then down here, let's make the component by saying const themed loader is equal to a function and Inside here, we need to first of all grab the color scheme. So we'll say const color scheme is equal to use color scheme. We've seen all this stuff before, right? In all the other theme components. And then we need to actually use that value to get a theme from the colors object. So we'll say const theme is equal to colors. And then in square brackets, we're gonna pass in the color scheme which remember is either gonna be light or dark. So it's gonna be either the dark property or the light property that we get access to from that colors object then. But it could sometimes be null and we need a fallback. So we'll say double question mark and the fallback is colors.light, so the light theme. All right, so now we need to actually return a template. So let's do that, return. And inside this template, we want the activity indicator. All right. Now for the size, we'll say it's gonna be large. I mean, you could accept this as a prop here as well if you wanted to, and the user could then choose a large theme loader or a small one. I'm just gonna keep it large for all of them. And then for the color, this is the dynamic part. 
it's going to be a theme dot and what should we use what color let's have a look at the colors object inside the constants folder i think the text color because then it's going to be bright for the dark theme and it's going to be dark for the light theme right so let's use the text color so theme dot text like so all right so now what i'm going to do is come to the login page over here and instead of using the activity indicator i'm going to use the themed loader which we will need to import up here so let's do that as well duplicate that and we'll change this and this to themed loader all right and then we can also get rid of this one up here as well and the text input and the pressable great all right so if i save this hopefully we'll see the themed version of this now instead so let's do that and okay an error let's have a look what that is i'm gonna scroll right down and then come back up a bit okay so it says check the render method of login um, element type is invalid expected a string okay and it turns out i've just not exported it so let's do that let's export default themed loader like so save this and then if we go to the login page now yeah there we see it awesome so that looks good and now if we go to the app.json file and change this to the dark mode again hopefully the loader will be light currently it's dark right for the light theme if i change this and then reload the app and then go to the login page yep yeah, now the loader is light so this is all working this is good but i want to do one more thing because this themed loader is actually going to be a loading page that i want to show instead of that current text that we get in the top left if we open up those components where are they user only for example this thing right here it's basically just a text component on a white background now i don't just want to show that little loading component up here in the top left instead no i want to show a whole kind of view which stretches across the whole screen with the activity indicator in the middle so what i'm going to do then is wrap this with a themed view so i will say themed view right here and click on this to import it and then i'm going to grab this and i'm going to paste it down here and we nest the activity indicator in the middle now i also want to apply some styles to this so we'll say style is equal to an object we'll just do it in line and this is going to say flex is one then justify content to the center and then finally we want to align items to the center as well and this is also that first of all with flex one the view takes up the whole height of the screen justify content to bring the loader down into the middle vertically align items to do it horizontally as well so we're going to get a big screen which uses the theme view so the same background color as whatever the theme is and then in the middle we're going to get that loader all right so if i save this now then over here you can see it's taken up all the available room it's pushed everything else up to the top but we don't want to use it there on the login page anyway so we're, uh, let's get rid of it and remove it from the imports as well and we want to use it inside this thing right here so we can use the themed loader there instead click on that to import it and then we'll get rid of the text import and the same for the guest only one so let's change this to be a themed loader and we can get rid of the text import like so all right so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to try logging into an account so i think one of them was bowser and that was at ninja.dev right i think and then test one two three four log in all right yeah so now i'm logged in now before when we logged out we saw that little white page now you're not going to see it for long but just try and pay attention when i click on log out in a second you're going to see that loading screen instead that themed one so log out and you saw it very briefly right it just looks a little nicer now if the internet connection was bad and that request took a little bit longer then you would see it for longer and that would be a better user experience i think showing that than just a little loading message in the top left so then now we've created that theme loader 
And I think in the next lesson, it's time to move on and we're going to set up the database so we can start storing book records.